What is the difference between complex number and imaginary number? Is there at all any difference or we just use it with two different names, complex and imaginary? We do a lot of mathematics including complex analysis where we add and do a lot of operations but do we really know what is the exact difference between complex and imaginary number? In this video, I am going to tell you in short what is the exact difference so that you understand and you do not have any misconception about these two concepts. My name is Shonak and you are watching this video on my channel Physics for Students. So just to tell you quickly that between difference between complex and imaginary is that imaginary number is expressed as any real number which is multiplied to an imaginary unit. For example, if I take 3i or minus 2i or pi i, as you see, all these are the real parts and i is the imaginary part. So, imaginary number is actually the real number which is multiplied to an imaginary unit. For example, imaginary number i y, I can take y as the imaginary part. So, we can say complex numbers on the other hand are imaginary numbers plus numbers that has both real and imaginary parts. So here lies the main difference. So you see imaginary number is the real number which is times that imaginary unit or multiplied by that various complex numbers or imaginary numbers plus that has both real and imaginary parts. As you can see 6 plus 8i or 5 minus 3i or plus 4 minus 7i. Okay, so 6 plus 8i, you see 6 is the real part, i is the imaginary part, followed by an operation plus or either minus. So if you take a plus bi, you see if a, a is basically the real part and if you put a as 0, then this bi becomes imaginary because 0 plus bi will be, it becomes purely imaginary. So this won't have a real part. So what we can say is that imaginary numbers are numbers that can be written as a real number multiplied by the imaginary unit i and complex numbers are imaginary numbers plus numbers that has both real and imaginary parts. So i has both imaginary and complex. Further that we see is that every complex number can be written into z equals to a plus b i where a and b are the I would say members of the real number r and if we put z equals to 0 then what we get z equals to b i and we call it as pure imaginary. So what we can say, one important thing to remember is that because R is a member or it belongs to the family of complex number, we can say that every real number is actually a complex number, but every complex number is not necessarily a real number. This is a very important reference and a very important point to remember. So that set of all complex numbers denoted by Z is an element of C, which is the complex number and imaginary numbers are denoted by this, which is a part of the real number. Okay, so Z equals to A plus BI can be represented as if A not equals to 0, B not equals to 0, then A plus BI is called imaginary number. If A equals to 0 and B equals to 0, then get 0 plus 0 I. So this is a 0 complex number. And if A equals to 0, B doesn't equals to 0, we get IB, which we just saw is called pure imagine, purely imaginary number. And we get A not equal to 0 and B equals to 0, then we get A, which is purely a real number. So from here, we can say every real number is a complex number, but every complex number is not necessarily a real number. So quickly we can summarize that complex number have a real part 5 plus 6i, imaginary numbers are just real multiples by the imaginary unit 6i. A complex number can ha have a real portion, well imaginary number does not have a real part. Imaginary numbers are multiples of i equal to square root of minus 1, so if we do the square we get a negative number and complex numbers have a real and an imaginary part in the form z equals to a plus bi. So real numbers are defined as any number which is always positive when squared and both the set of real number and the set of real uh, imagined numbers are subsets of complex numbers. So this is a very short video which I just thought to bring in so that you can understand what is the real difference between complex and imaginary number. To watch more about this complex and imaginary you can go to my playlist called complex analysis which I have just started and slowly building up more on complex numbers and complex analysis. Thank you for watching this video and I will be soon back with more videos Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel, Physics for Students. Goodbye.